Craniosynostosis. Cranio means brain. Syn means fusion. Ostosis means of the bones. So uh, with the name craniosynostosis, we'll be able to see what it is. So early fusion of cranial sutures is cranial synostosis. It's going to cause uh, the brain to expand in funny directions. Okay, it, for, it forms um, dolicocephaly, otherwise called a scaphocephaly. Brachycephaly, I'm just uh, priming you to the terms which we're going to see in this video. Scaphocephaly or dolicocephaly. Brachycephaly, okay, brachy means flat, okay, so brachycephaly is like flat brain, flat skull. And the third word is trigonocephaly. Trigono means like it looks like a trigon or like the trigon, something with related to trigon, okay. Plagycephaly and terricephaly, okay. Scapho, brachy, trigono, plagy, terri. Okay, so scaphocephaly is otherwise called dolicocephaly. What happens is this is the most common type of craniosynostosis. It is characterized by S for S, okay, scaphocephaly, sagittal sutures. So like when the sagittal suture is going to close, what happens is along the direction of the suture line only, the brain is going to expand. So for instance, uh, okay, for instance, uh, if there is a okay so there's just sagittal suture okay sagittal suture if it closes late the head is sagittal suture is is a suture which divides the body into right and left side so it's in that plane okay so the sagittal suture does not close the head is going to expand expand laterally so like right and left it's going to be equal expansion a good amount of expansion but if it closes it's going to expand along the direction opposite to it because it's closed it's not going to expand in that direction because the closed suture does not allow expansion of the brain so it's going to expand in anterior posterior direction so the skull is an anterior posteriorly elongated skull it's called dolicocephaly or scaphocephaly okay that's the most common type of craniosynostosis second is brachycephaly brachycephaly is entirely opposite of dolicocephaly brachycephaly is flat skull meaning okay it's due to early closure of the coronal suture so as we know coronal suture is the suture which is going to divide the body into uh, front half and back half in that plane it's in that plane okay so because that suture is closed the brain is going to elongate laterally so what happens is the skull appears flattened anteroposteriorly so sapa mujimarirko that is brachycephaly third is trigonocephaly trigonocephaly is nothing but a suture which looks like a three dimension okay three something to do with three okay so like a three things is going to three or four or something so we're talking about the lambdoid suture the metopic suture okay early closure of the metopic suture will cause trigonocephaly okay Fourth one is plagycephaly. It is associated with Chorsten's Chort Zen syndrome. It is of two types. It's uh, plagycephaly could be frontal or occipital. Frontal plagycephaly is the second most common craniosynostosis. The first most common is dolicocephaly. The second one is frontal plagycephaly. It involves early fusion of coronal suture and the sphenofrontal suture. So remember CSF. Coronal is C, SF is sphenofrontal. Okay, CSF sutures, um, frontal plagycephaly. Okay, the second most common is CSF suture. CSF is coronal and sphenofrontal sutures. That is uh, frontal plagycephaly. Occipital plagycephaly is characterized by early closure of the lambdoid suture. Okay. Okay, so metopic suture and lambdoid suture apparently are different. I didn't know that before. Okay. Okay, so that's about the plagycephaly. And then a uh, fifth one is terricephaly. Terricephaly is a cone-shaped skull. It's due to early closure of coronal sphenofrontal, that is CSF, coronal sphenofrontal and frontoethmoidal sutures. It is associated with a syndrome called the Pfeiffer syndrome. The P is silent, just like T in tsunami, P is silent. It's P-F-E-I-F-F-E-R syndrome. Terricephaly Pfeiffer syndrome. CSF suture that is coronal sphenofrontal and FE suture which is frontoethmoidal sutures. So that is about craniosynostosis. It's nothing but early fusion of 